Well, I'm happy to, uh, to chat with you folks from the graduating class of OAC 7172. My name is Ralph Martin, and uh, when you were graduating in 72 from OAC, I was graduating from Elmira District Secondary School. And so I'm about four years behind most of you, and that means that when you were in grade 12, I was in grade 9, and I'm sure I looked up to you with awe, and uh, maybe I still should. I really do appreciate all the uh, support that you've given to OAC over the years and to OAC students and graduate students, and it sounds to me like you're willing to do it again with another um, fund for students that are working in sustainable agriculture, and that's something, of course, that I really appreciate and thank you for doing. I wish I could be with you this weekend. I'm sorry that I can't be, but uh, Dean Rob Gordon will be there and uh, I can assure you he's a man you can trust. Um, I've worked with him a lot over the years in Nova Scotia and, uh, and now here in Guelph and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy me being with him and uh, learning from him and there's lots that, that he can tell you. Um, I can say a little bit about myself. I was um, uh, raised in uh, Wallenstein, Ontario, which is not too far from Elmira. I'm one of those many Martins in that area. Um, I did not go to University of Guelph. Um, that's one of the things in my career that might be a strike against me. I did go to Carleton. I did a BA at Carleton, a BA, not a BSc, and then a Master's in Biology. And then I went to McGill and did my PhD in plant science, and I've been teaching at the Nova Scotia Agricultural College since 1990. And I've had quite a few um, grad students there and other students. Um, I was doing quite a bit of work in pastures and forage agronomy, and then I was the director, the founding director of the Organic Agriculture Centre of Canada. That started in 2001 and uh, has been, is still going strong. Um, we have now an organic science cluster and that's right across Canada and I think something that would be of interest to a lot of folks. And it's really quite interesting to see what contributions um, organic uh, research can make for agriculture overall. Now I'm happy to be the Loblaw Chair in Sustainable Food Production. I'm here at, uh, in the plant agriculture department of OAC at the University of Guelph. Just started about a month ago in August, uh, so I'm still a newbie uh, at the University of Guelph. Very much enjoying it. It's, uh, it's a wonderful university. There's a uh, real diversity of um, interest here, lots of people doing fascinating work. I'm enjoying being in the plant agriculture department. I'm working with, uh, with my colleagues here. and. Um, we're looking at various aspects of sustainability and perhaps I can say one or two things about that. So when we look at sustainability, um, a lot of people are, are drawn toward the noun sustainability or the adjective sustainable as in sustainable agriculture. I tend to be wary of both the adjective and the noun. I'd rather go to the verb to sustain or sustaining. And my reason for that is that I think we're all at different stages in uh, looking at how we want to sustain food production and everyone can make a contribution to this. I think we all agree that we do want to sustain food production in the long run. And so we're trying to be as inclusive as we can and to work with as many people as possible, not only in crop production, although that's my first love and that's where I've been working all these years and I of course think that crop production is very important but there are also important contributions to be made for example in hospitality. Um, I've been talking to uh, Bruce McAdam there who's interested in how we can reduce food waste and some of you will know that the George Morris Center within the last year came out with a report saying that 40 percent of the food produced in Canada is wasted. So. A big part of sustainability in food production is how we deal with the food after it's produced and making sure we minimize the waste and that in turn will feed back into how much we actually have to produce. The other thing is that I think a lot of people are thinking about health, food and health and um, we want to make sure that the food that we're producing is healthy and that it is meeting 
the dietary and caloric needs of the population as well as all the other health needs and um, this too is part of sustainability if you will as it relates to food production so that means talking with dietitians there was just a dietitian in my office um, before we started this and I've been talking with other folks and of course folks in uh, the School of Environmental Science and Soils Livestock Animal Welfare it, it's all related and uh, the program is going to be working on bringing various folks together to uh, see how we can all contribute toward sustainable food production. I do, again, really want to say that I appreciate the fact that you folks are seeing this as a priority. You're making it possible for grad students to do work in this area. That's very important. Lots of grad students have energy and uh, ideas and they're bright and sometimes it's just the money that keeps them from doing what they want to do and this will help to make that possible. Thank you very much.